Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Franz takes it to 12. He's got the corner. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Lumpkin gains around six yards on the run. About four yards away here on second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle at the 45. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. three on the carry. Not much gained on that play because this safety did a wonderful job of getting up there and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. It's second and seven. Ball on the 48. Fires out to his wide out. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And they make the stop at about the 35. From the 35-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Second down, 10 to go. Ball of the 22. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. It wasn't a bad pass at all, but just a good heads-up effort to get his fingertips on the ball. They're going to try a long field goal here. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. Lined up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Knights and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. From their own 25-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires 
quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's out to the 30. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Lumpkin picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 35 yard line. the ground with the tailback. Lumpkin gets about four yards on the play. From their own 42-yard line, first down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. He was covered and still caught the ball. Yeah, this guy's got the balance, control, and just great instincts when it comes to catching the football. Good-looking athlete. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Brought down around the 33-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, start offense. offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. On the kicker for a long field goal. It's up, and he nails the long field goal. his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off he sends this one deep this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback you never like to have to play from behind but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds they just need to go out there and play tackle made at the 36 From their own 36-yard line. First down. Tackled after the 
Johnson pick up. That'll bring up second and three. Two times, two times. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Bears in front by six. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. He takes it right side for a good game. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Got some open field. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. That's a gain of 10. That'll make it second in inches. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Fires that quickly incomplete. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. He's going to air it long. This one is batted away. And the safety comes up with a nice play. These safeties are not only physical, but here is showing the athletic ability to get a hand on the ball. That is great coverage. This is the eighth play of this drive. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. And he's taken down at the 39. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It has the distance, and he missed it right. No good. So they come up empty-handed there. Kickers have to have a short memory. Just go out and make the next one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Zips it to the tight end. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. Hand off, and he's met immediately. tries to buy some time it's on the ground the defense scoops it tackle at the 48 boy the end really showed some explosiveness there in getting the loose ball There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. There's a fumble. Scooped up by the defense. He lost the ball. Looks like the offense has it. And they get nice yardage on that run. First and ten. Ball on the 46. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. He gets rid of this one. From the 36-yard line, 
It's second down. He fights forward to about the 33. That makes it 37. It's first and ten. Ball on the 18. Gains his way to the 10 yard line. The Knights will use their first time out of the half. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. The running back gets the first. You like how the offense is playing intelligent, controlled football. Here, using the safe run to get the first. And down he goes at the four-yard line. Just inside the five. Second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Got his receiver. Touchdown. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. And he hits the PAT. It was an eight-play, 45-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 7-6. They line up to kick this one away. McCarthy takes it at the 16. He's tackled at the 29. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games that you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. tackled at the 44-yard line. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44. Caught enough for the first down. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. Gained six yards with a short completion. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. It's 
scrambling around. And he is drilled at the 32-yard line. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. And he can put his team in the lead right here with this field goal. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start. False start. Offense. Offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch down. is going to be enough to draw the flag. Kick is up. It's got the distance. And he hooked it left. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He lets it fly. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. 7-6, Knights. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Ms. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. you got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if it's got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 28. He's at midfield. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. forward to about the 40. That's a game of two on the That makes it first and ten. From the 40-yard line, first down. Right 
They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up. No good. He missed it to the left. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Lumpkin gets the call. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Second down and 12. Ball on the 39. He steps out at the 42. That's good for being a three yards. That'll make it 39. the 49. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Has some daylight. Nice gain as he works to the right side. That's a deep It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. From the 11-yard line, it's first down. And he's taken down around the 9-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Third and eight. Ball on the nine yard line. He's scrambling. Tackle made at the two yard line. Taken down at 
the two. And the defense comes through. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. And they push him out at the four. Second down. They're deep in their own territory. Tackle at the five. And he gets a yard on the run. an effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. McCarthy, the return man. He really got a hold of that one. McCarthy fields up the 48, and he just got stood up right there. That's three down and one to go. The Knights lead it by one. three quarters of action tight ball game and now it's the fourth quarter and this will decide it this is a pretty crucial series right here with things being so tight your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball he's at the 30 and down he goes around the 28 yard line well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback first and ten Ball on the 28-yard line. He goes out of bounds at the 22. He tackles him for a loss. Third and long here. And for the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. He launches one for the end zone. Incomplete. McCarthy intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Nolan is lined up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes his way to about the 42. first down yeah that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself that's a good decision it's first and ten all on the 48 yard line and he 
he's tackled right away. out to about the 18 yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 18 yard line. Second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll make it third and one. Run to the outside. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings them second and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start. Ball start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's bound to happen occasionally. They're at the seven. It's second down. And that's a defensive end who was able to get him that time. It's pretty awesome when a freshman can work his way through the offensive line to get a sack like that. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. One yard loss for the halfback. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Man, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both of these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've gotten pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It can still go either way. Quick throw to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 32. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. He's on the run. Dives for extra yardage. Scrambling. And he's tackled at about the 35. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really liked it as tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself.
And the ball game's over. The Knights take the win, 10-9. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.